hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make these very cute house slippers or sandals so uh what you're gonna need is you need two kinds of yarn so the main color and one for the sole because we're going to make two soles and also i use a crochet hook which is 3.5 millimeters and i use um this kind of yarn it's 100 percent acrylic and it's the chunk yarn okay so let's get started okay so we're going to make uh, these sandals in medium size and first you're going to start uh, by doing a chain 28 so we'll do chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 and 28 okay so after that we're going to start uh, from the second chain from the hook and we are going to do single crochet in the next 12 stitches okay so we're going to start from here and you go single crochet one two three four okay and continue until you have 12 single crochets okay so after the 12 single crochets uh, in the next stitch we're going to do half double crochet okay so we'll do one half double crochet and then in the next 12 stitches we are going to do double crochet so we do double crochet one two three four okay so you continue until you have 12 half double crochet so you'll be left with only one stitch here at the end okay so after that we have only one chain here at the end and in the last chain we are going to do five double crochet in the same chain so we we'll do double crochet one two three four and five okay and then after that we're going to continue to the other side and uh, once we flip on the other side we're going to do double crochet in the next 12 stitches okay so we're going to do double crochet one two three and four four okay and continue until you have 12 double crochets okay so after the 12 double crochet now we're going to do half double crochet in the next stitch so we'll do one half double crochet and then in the next 12 stitches we are going to do single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three okay and continue until you have 12 single crochets Okay, so after the 12 single crochets, now in the last stitch, we are going to do four single crochet in the same stitch. So we'll do single crochet, one, two, three, four, and then we are going to slip stitch in the next stitch to join. Okay. So now we're going to start in our second row and in the second row we're going to start by doing a chain one and then we'll do single crochet in the next 26 stitches okay 
so we continue and do single crochet one two three four five okay and continue until you have 26 single crochets okay so after the 26 single crochet next we are going to increase in the next five stitches okay so we're going to increase in the next stitch okay so increase one increase again two increase three increase four and increase five okay and then we're going to do single crochet in the next 26 stitches okay so we're going to continue and do single crochet one two three four five okay and continue until you have 26 single crochets okay so after the 26 single crochets now we have three stitches remaining and in the remaining three stitches we are going to increase in every stitch okay so we're going to increase the first stitch increase in the next stitch and increase in the last stitch okay and then after that we're going to slip stitch to join okay so now in our third row we are going to start by doing a chain one and then we're going to continue and do 26 single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three four okay and continue until you have 26 single crochets okay so now after the 26 single crochet now in the next uh, stitches we're going to do increase then single crochet and we're going to repeat that five times okay so we're going to start by increasing then single crochet so that's one time increase single crochet that's two increase single crochet okay that's three times increase single crochet four increase and single crochet okay so that's five times okay and then after you're done with that we are going to do single crochet in the next 26 stitches okay so we'll continue and do single crochet one two three four five and continue until you have 26 single crochets okay so after that now we have six stitches remaining here at the end and in those stitches we are going to do uh two single crochet then single crochet two single crochet like that okay so we're going to start by doing an increase i mean in the same in one stitch so increase then single crochet increase single crochet and one more time increase and single crochet and then you're going to slip stitch at the end like that okay so now we're going to start with the fourth row and in a fourth row we're going to start by doing a chain one and then we'll do single crochet in the next 13 stitches Okay, so we'll do single crochet one two three four five 
okay continue until you have 13 single crochets okay so after the 13 single crochets uh, next we are going to do one half double crochet okay so we'll do half double crochet and then next we'll do uh, double crochet in the next 12 stitches so we'll do double crochet one two three four okay so continue until you have 12 double crochets okay so after that now we are going to do uh, two double crochet in the next stitch and then dub, uh, double crochet in the next two stitches okay and then we're going to repeat four times okay so let me show you how to do it okay so we're going to do two double crochet in the same stitch and then double crochet in the next two stitches Okay, and then we're going to repeat that four more times okay so two double crochet in the next stitch and then double crochet in the next two stitches and then repeat that again So we repeat that again so two double crochet in the next stitch then double crochet in the next two stitches and repeat again two double crochet And double crochet in the next two stitches okay so now after that uh, in the next um, 12 stitches we're going to do double crochets okay so we're going to do double crochet one two three four okay and continue until you have 12 double crochets okay, so after the 12 double crochets in the next stitch we're going to do half double crochet okay and then in the next 13 stitches we're going to do single crochet so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five okay and you continue until you have 13 single crochets okay, so now after that now in the remaining stitches we are going to do increase then single crochet in the next two stitches and repeat that all the way through okay so we're going to increase in the first stitch and do single crochet in the next two stitches then repeat that again increase single crochet in the next two stitches Okay, increase and single crochet in the last two stitches okay and then after that we're going to slip stitch here to join okay so now after we're done with that uh, in the next round in the fifth round which is our last round we're going to do double crochet all the way round okay 
So we're going to continue and do double crochet. Double crochet. Double crochet. Okay, and you're going to continue all the way around until here at the end. Okay, so after we get to the end of the row, we are going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to cut off my yarn and do the finishing. Okay, so for the finishing, I'm going to go here into the back loop of the next stitch and pull my yarn through like that. And then I'm going to go into the previous stitch, the front loop, and pull my yarn through like that. Okay, and then I'm going to continue pulling this end through, or I can just go again into the previous stitch and pull my yarn through like that and then i'm going to hide off the yarn here at the back Okay, and cut it off like that okay so now guys after you're done with that now uh, you're going to make another one either in the same color or in a different color to put at the bottom so as you can see in my case I made it like that okay so you can either put it on top or at the bottom Okay, so now after you're done making both the two parts, I'll show you how to make the top part. Okay, so the top part is quite easy. We're going to start by doing a chain 12. So do chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so you can adjust uh, the chain size according to the size, to the length that you want. So this is the length from here until there, okay? As you can see, but you can make it longer if you want. Okay, so now after that, we are going to start from the second chain from the hook and we are going to do half double crochet across. Okay, so we're going to do half double crochet and continue all the way to the end Okay, so after you get to the end, you're going to do a chain one and turn around. And when you turn around, so when you're doing half double crochets, you have uh, the front loop and the back loop. But from now, from the next row all the way to the end of uh, to the end of the row, uh, we're going to do uh, half double crochets in the back loop only. Okay, so we're going to go into the first stitch and in the back loop and do half double crochet and we're going to continue like that do half double crochet
have double crochet okay Okay, so after you get to the end again you're going to do a chain one and turn back and again in the back loops you're going to do half double crochet all the way across okay so you're going to continue like that all the way so from in my case I did a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 rows, but it depends with the length of your leg. You know, all our legs measurements are different. So make sure you measure your leg first before you continue or before you finish off and then crochet according to the length of your leg. Okay. So, and then after that, attaching the slippers is quite easy. I'm just going to explain it. Okay, so what you do is first you attach the two soles together as you can see so I put the white one in the bottom and the other one and using a needle I just sew it all the way around you can see because I used a very thin thread to sew it through so just sew it and make sure they're in length together as you can see you can't tell if it's two so you just sew it right over here all the way around until the end and then also here uh, make sure you fit your top part together uh, like this so that they look like a complete pattern so you just place it over here and using a needle you sew it through you can see the little yarns that I used like this so I sew it using a needle over here and also over here so it's quite easy okay so guys i hope you enjoyed this pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and please check out my other videos i i post every video every week okay so until next time bye